Disclaimer. The following content may contain crude language, violences, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes are not suitable for children and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. What's going on everybody? Your boy Man Up. If you like my videos, if you find them interesting, if you want to share the content, if you want everybody to know what I'm talking about, whether you agree or disagree, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, coming from your boy Man Up, thanks for watching. What's going on everybody? Your boy Man Up. I got another video for you today. <sighs> First, I want to get started by saying to all y'all feminists and this equal women's rights movements and all this crap, the women that talk about men cause all the harm to women, stuff like that, how come y'all don't tell women to stop causing harm to other women or tell women to stop causing harm to themselves? Yeah, this was nasty and disgusting that these men in Dubai, you know, I'm not going to say made them do, but told them to do if they wanted money and all that stuff. I'm not going to show exactly the videos or nothing because one, is disgusting, and two, I can't play this on YouTube. Now, I did see it, and I'm like, why in the hell did I watch that video? The Dubai Porta Potty. Oh, my God. I was like, are y'all serious? Now, I saw it. It's all it's doing is telling women if they want this money, you got to eat my poop. Literally. And a lot of them women did it. Then they, when they do it, they go they go and they do it. They got paid and blah, blah, blah. Then they want to come back and tell these sad stories of how they were forced to do this and do that. And I'm thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, wait a minute. You chose to do it. It was your decision. Nobody made you. And then one of the women going to say it was worth it because I got paid $40,000 to eat poop. Literally, eat poop. I was like, hold up, y'all. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you're going to complain and then at the end of your video, you're going to say it was worth it because you got $40,000. Are you serious? So you literally wanted to be humili uh, humiliated, you know what I'm saying? You literally wanted that because of the money. That just, just shows that people prioritize money and materialistic things over, they, over their life, over their health. Because you don't know what these men have that could be in their poop. Uh, uh, over your self-esteem, your self-worth, all that stuff. You just prioritized forty thousand dollars, so you telling the world this is what you're worth. Like I said, I'm not going to show the video of them doing it, but if you want to see it yourself, Google Dubai Porta Potty, which you see right here on your screen, Dubai Porta Potty, and you will see some disgusting stuff. I'm not going to lie, I saw it and I was like, why did I do this to myself? Why did I look at this? Because I was sent this article and I was like, oh, y'all serious? And then some of the women, they were like, oh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to. And they did it and then was happy because they got paid. I'm like, no. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into this article. Some strange things that take over TikTok, but the latest viral trend might just be the strangest and most disgusting. TikTok users are discovering something called the the uh, Dubai Porta Potty, which is a rumor, which is rumored to go on amongst influencers, influencers, excuse me, and the elite in the United States. Yeah, I can't read all of a sudden. <laughs> and the United Arab uh, Emirates. The rumored practices is sickening and really grossing everyone out on social media. <sighs> now, like I said, I'm not going to show it. But <sighs> yeah, I'm regretting that I saw it because when I was sent this 
sent this. I was like, the bipolar pilot? What the hell is that? And yeah. Wow. You know, curiosity is a motherfucker. You know that? Curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> Woo -wee. But I didn't know what it was. So I'm t before I start talking about it, I got to know exactly what it is, you know what I'm saying? Or, so I can, you know, get my opinion on it, I guess you could say. Or probably not exactly, but, you know, get a, at least get a thought of what I think it might be. So I can, uh, you know, tell my opinion. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, hell no. Are y'all serious? Anyway, it says, let's start by clarifying that there's absolutely no proof this actually goes on in Dubai. It's merely a rumor that's taken over the internet in April of 2022. Now, that is not true. Because I actually saw it. And like I said, if you don't think so, Google Dubai Porta Potty you will see videos of these women doing these things. Literally. Eating those men's poop. And they are just, they love humiliating y'all women and y'all let them do it. The, the, uh, the Bob Porter Party is rumored to be something that influencers and other young women do in exchange for money or gifts. It's pretty disgusting, but that but the idea says that these women left others equate on them, yeah, to receive bags, shoes, and other materialistic items. And which these days I believe it because women will do anything for money, for attention, for materialistic things, for trips, all that good stuff. Y'all women will do anything. Yes, by equate, we mean poop and, and we. Yeah, disgusting, right? But rumors say that this is what goes on. According to the Urban Dictionary, explicit, explicit escorts are bought by rich men to, do, to go on yacht parties where they are defecated and urinated on. Yeah, like I said, it's not a rumor. Look it up, you will see. I saw it with my own two eyes. Well, I'm not. Well, let me let me clarify this. I'm not telling you to look it up. If you want to, you can. But yeah, I was on TikTok, and all I'm seeing is Porta Potty Dubai everywhere without clocking onto uh, what it is, without clicking. I think that's what that woman meant to say onto what it is. Now I know I should have honestly minded my own. Yeah, I feel that way too. I shouldn't have not look, look, looked on it. I should have not clicked on the video and saw it, but I did. Because like I said, a lot of times when I get these articles sent to me, I want to know exactly what it is that you're talking about so I can get my opinion. And like I said in the beginning of my video, I said, why do y'all feminists, y'all hate men movement and all y'all women that think men just cause harm to women? How come y'all don't tell women to stop causing harm to other women or women stop causing harm to themselves? These women chose to go over there to Dubai and be humiliated by these men. But let's just say these men didn't tell them what they were coming over there for. I give you that. Now, you know when once you get there, oh, hell no, I'm leaving. That's what you could have said. There's plenty of times I'll go somewhere. Once I get there, I'll regret it and go home. <laughs> Internet users are disgusted. The notion has been taken over TikTok and Twitter over the past week and left social media users horrified. Apparently, there are also videos of alleged skiing flooding the Internet, too. But we wouldn't encourage you to go looking for any. Yeah, I'm not just. Yeah, like I said, I'm not trying to tell you to go look, but because this article saying it's rumored, I'm not. I'm. I'm telling you, it's not a rumor. It's actually true. I saw it on two eyes. This one woman says, "As from now on, I'm minding my business in this app," <laughs> and she got got <laughs> some eye drops to say the blood of Jesus 
triple action. <laughs> yeah. Put it into her eye drive because she can't believe what she just saw. I 100% agree with that. Yeah, I can't believe what I just saw. There's a lot of stuff that gets sent to me that I refuse to put on YouTube because of what it actually is. But in this case, oh my goodness. It shouldn't have been on any social media platform, in my my opinion. Another one says, here I am minding my own business, then boom, the bipolar party. <laughs> Picture him laying in the bed, uh, curled up in the fetal position, crying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I'm going to scroll back to the top. I mean, this is crazy, y'all. These women literally did it to themselves. Nobody told them to do it. They did it to themselves. They chose to. You could have said, once you got there, you could have said, hell no. Even if the man didn't tell you what you was coming over there for. Once you realize, uh-uh. There's been plenty of times I, I'll go somewhere and I realize why I'm there. Turn my ass back around and go home. I don't care if I am in another country. Turn my ass back around and go home. You see what I'm saying? I don't have to do that. And you got $40,000 to eat somebody's poop. To get urinated on. I'm trying to watch my words because of YouTube and their censorship. But, oh my God. I, I can't fathom doing this I can't fathom this and like I said how come y'all feminists don't tell women not to cause harm to themselves and the reason why I say they cause harm to themselves because they chose to do this it's not like they were forced to it's not like they didn't have no choice once them guys told them what was going on they could have said hell no and left And them, them guys had no problem humiliating these women and, and, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, really? Oh, my God. Yeah, it was wrong for them guys to, 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 to throw that option out there. It was. But they didn't have to do it. And just like y'all ladies, if y'all don't want to go out with a guy, you say no. Right? You had that option. Just like when you go somewhere to go clothes shopping and you don't like the clothes they have, you turn around, you walk out that store, you might go to another store. Same thing here. You can say no and you can turn your ass back around and go home. So I can't believe these guys wanted me to do that. So you mean to tell me you don't have no self-worth, no self-esteem, and you, and what you are worth is 40000 that's it? Them guys got so much money, they don't know what to do with it. $40,000 is like maybe $5 to, to them. That ain't nothing. They ain't no money to them. They don't give a damn. Them are some rich billion trillionaires. And here we are going over there to their country thinking, wow, this is great. They come to America think America is great. But what I'm saying is, why allow something like this to happen? Why? Why are you allowing it? Who told you that this was okay to do this? I mean, from from the videos of these women that said they did it, none of them said that uh, that uh, 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 they were forced to or they might die or something like that. No. From what they said, the guys told them, do it and I give you this amount of money. And they did it. Now, once again, I know I said in the beginning to go look it up if you want to see it. But I'm telling you, only reason why I'm telling you to look it up is because this article says it's rumored. It's not rumored. It's actually facts. But if you don't want to see it, don't do it. With all that being said, this is your boy, Man Up. I'm chunking the deuce. I'm going to holler at y'all.